batch tank setup. At Demeter Designs, we provide a very simple solution for automated batch tank filling. This setup consists of a hydraulic float valve, a tethered float switch, and a solenoid-operated inlet valve. Your tank may be larger or smaller depending on your facility size, but the components inside are all the same. The hydraulic float valve at the very top of the tank acts as a backup to the tethered float and solenoid valve combination. If either the valve or the float switch were to fail, the hydraulic float at the top of the tank will keep the tank from overflowing and flooding the facility. If you ever notice the water level towards the very top of the tank, this is a good indicator that one of these items has potentially failed and needs to be replaced immediately. When setting the height of the hydraulic float, make sure that it stops at its maximum upward travel before hitting the lid of the tank. The tethered float switch should be zip-tied to the downpipe on the inlet of the hydraulic float. There are two adjustments that can be made to the tether to change the total fill volume and the total drawdown rate before refilling. To adjust the drawdown rate of the tank, either increase the length between the float and lower zip tie to create a larger drawdown, or decrease this length to have a smaller drawdown on the tank. The height you set the lower zip tie to on the down tube will determine the maximum fill level on the tank. Do not allow the maximum fill level to come in contact with the hydraulic float under normal operating conditions.